Right, YouTubers, part four. Uh, this should be the final part now. What I'm going to basically do now is obviously just put all the the um, arms back on, the bushings, the drive shafts, and a few little clips and stuff. Put a bit of oil in it, and should be ready to go. So let's crack on. What I'm going to do first is get this gearbox mount on. Three volts, two lit ones, one big one. As we can see, we the same problem again. The engine needs to be moved. Well, no, actually, I've got that on the wrong way around, so that's my problem. Ah. What the? There we go. Get it. Oh, it's amazing. You get it right, how it fits. Right, you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to turn the camera back on once um, I get it on. It's just, it's in the way. I can't do it with the camera in the way. And YouTube, as you can see, I've got this on. It's really nice and easy, no swearing. Great. As you can see, I haven't tightened the big main bolt in the middle because you can see that movement still in the gearbox because I need to put this on the back. And of course, this is a big bolt that goes through to hold the back of the gearbox on so i need that bit of movement if i tighten that up too much i'm not gonna be able to move these around to center everything now that unfortunately again i'm not gonna be able to show you this because it's just in the wrong place it's right behind here so it's just the, the gearbox bracket one bolt going through and three other bolts that bolt onto the gearbox obviously you tighten this tight onto the gearbox and you leave the big one main one till last so i'm going to bang that on Turn the camera on and then basically all the mounts are back on. So what we gotta do now is put the drive shaft on. I've already done the other side because they're both the same obviously apart from being different lengths. But you got CV joint here obviously which goes on the outside and this other end goes in your gearbox. So it's just literally a case of trying, you have to kind of twist it and you, you, you'll, you'll kind of hear it and feel it slotting. There we go, now. I twist it, spline lined up, a little bit of a push, and it's in. Now we need to get this end in our hub. We bend it, push it back up. Again, I have to twist it, line up the splines. So what we're going to do is get the bolt, put one bolt in just to hold the hub up to the suspension. Oh, bastard, come on. God, the other side just waiting so easy. Now, so as you can see, the two bolts here, the suspensions I'm going to obviously tighten them. Then these obviously need to be good and tight. I took off that because uh, it just, just gave me a bit more room, so I need to tighten that. And also, the actual CV bolt here, I need to tighten that. And again, that has to be nice and hard too. So I'm going to tighten all them and uh, I'll be back. Now, just a thing to be aware of when you tighten the CV bolt. There's a little uh, cutout in the CV joint, as you can see there, and you just need to hammer down that little bit of metal. It just acts as like a uh, lock nut. Now, this is all tightened up in here. As we can see, CV boot is gone. This is a CV boot, by the way, people. Not to worry about. Right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, take off the, the top nut to put the oil back in. And what I'm gonna do is obviously open the drain, the filler plug, which is very tight. Now, this is where I'm putting the oil back. Now, I have a big pump, a special pump thing that pumps my oil in for me. Um, 
obviously you know you might not have so you can do it a slightly different way um, but uh, this is where the oil needs to go and basically when it starts coming back out you know you've got enough it's kind of as simple as that really so what I'm going to do is put me the lead in start pumping Now I think that's it. Pull this out. Yeah. Now, as you see, it's coming out. I've got a bit too much in, so I'm just going to let that basically drain for a few seconds. Now, slowing up there now. Right. So we now know there's enough oil in the gearbox. Nice, new, clean, fresh oil. Uh, no point really putting the old stuff back. Fresh oil. I'll give that a bit of a squeeze and be careful with it because you can easily break it. We need to work on the top now. We need to put the, the clutch back on. A few of the uh, earth straps and stuff. And we're close. Ready to start. So our YouTubers just had an absolute nightmare. Um, with the clutch slave cylinder which is down here uh, to line these two bolts up was just a nightmare um, I didn't disconnect the pipe so I didn't I didn't have to bleed it so I've connected that I've put the obviously pressed the clutch and it's moving and it's doing everything it's supposed to it's nice and good which is brilliant obviously put the earth connections on you can't see but they're uh, where are we they are down here you can't see but um yeah there they are down where my finger is just down there so all i've got left to do now is put the two um cables on the two gear linkage cables the battery and the uh, air filter and that's we're ready to go so i'm going to put all the battery and the air filter on first <laughs> And we should be uh, put the battery in. So all these clips are good. Ready to uh, bang the battery in. Now this battery's seen better days, but still work, so. Now we know that's in. It's the bolt underneath there, so I'll grab that in a second. I just want to put this on and start it and see if we have any problems. That's what I kind of want to do first before I go any further. Now what I want to do is I'm going to have to put the gear linkages on first and then start it just to make sure it goes through all the gear. So we're going to do that now. I hope you can see YouTubers. I'm just struggling to get any sort of angle. So we'll just push these two 
clips back on and there's just a washer and a little um, a little spring if you remember so there's a the little spring and the little washer now we can start it so what I'm going to do now basically I'm going to start it go through all the gears and reverse make sure it's going through the gears it's not grinding and then we sort it bang on the wheels job to good one. now it started went through all the gears went through reverse sorted it's been a long day want to go home so yeah hope it helps thumbs up subscribe don't forget to get your hand dirty see you for the next one